Okay, so I'm at eight months now. Um, I don't know if a lot has changed. I'm pretty sure there's a lot more shrinking uh, than there was before. And, but I'm, I mean, I'm seeing some more of the ends are kind of starting to uh, loop, tangle, so therefore shrinking. Um, I have like this, that huge chunk again over here, you can see that's kind of shorter. So, still a lot of these little guys. A lot of wispy, um, very few hairs at the end on some of them, like that. And that gets tangled in with other ones right now. And very frizzy because of that. Yeah, I just woke up so you can see I have like all this frizzy frizziness. But then I have the <laughs> the random long ones. Super long ones. But it's it's alright. Where it's dreaded. Pretty thick and then loose, normal, or straight, not normal, but straight hair. Whatever. You can tell that I sleep on this side <laughs> because that's where all the shorties are coming up. I haven't checked in a while, but last time I had counted, I had 67. Um, that probably hasn't changed. Uh, but let's see. The front part, this is one I wanted to kind of show. This is one that's defying the rest of them. It's uh, most of my dreads, I think pretty much all of them, are threaded right at the, the root, about an inch or so after the root. And then they have loose pips or blunting on their own. This one is one of the one of the different ones where it is loose all the way until right about here where it starts to have one little loop but it's dreading at the bottom first. Uh, so that's kind of cool. Have a little bit of a difference. Still, this guy, this little loop popped up a couple of days ago. This was a tail like the rest of the longer ones. So it just shows you, you know, it, the longer ends do end up doing stuff. The problem I'm having is with these loops that are this big and, and pronounced, um, they do get caught on things. I was going to sit down on my daughter's bed a couple nights ago and read her a story. And she has a bunk bed and she had something hanging off um, the top of the bunk bed. And just happened one of my dreads got caught through that loop right on that. Uh, whatever it was, I can't remember. But yeah, <laughs> so it does happen. And they get caught. So, yeah. Um, somebody had asked how I have to separate. And basically, I just pull them apart like this in every direction. But the problem I'm having right now is not so much of the roots. They're doing fine at the roots, most of them. See, I've got... Alright, this is a good one to show. Of course, you aren't going to be able to see it. But, let's see if we can get that. You see all that hair? It's... <laughs> coming from this dread. Right here. Into this one. It's kind of in the middle where it's uh, coming from. So I would normally just pull 
the hairs out like this. Oh, breaking it. There we go. And I know that's not typically how you're supposed to uh, uh, get your hair not to be all pulled together, but that's how I, I end up separating some of them. If if that hair is pulling at an angle, like if I have my dreads on this side and it starts to hurt, um, then I'm going to want to do that. And I don't have to do it very often, uh, only occasionally I have to go in and just pull out, you know, two or three hairs. It's really not that bad. I would rather do that than pull them apart like, like this all the time. Because that doesn't seem to always work, uh, especially when you're like me and I will pull dreads over to this side and have them on this side for a couple of hours and then flip them back over and have them over onto this side. I really need this to be uh, able to separate. And so far it hasn't been a problem um, separating them. I do it every once in a while, like at least maybe once or twice a week. Normally whenever I wash, but not always. Uh, that one, ooh, I don't know if you could hear that, probably not. But that one had quite a bit that were pulling, but the thing is that that really breaks the hair and I'm trying not to break the hair, so I'm gently pulling them out um, of the dread and letting them be free and loose in between and, and doesn't, like I said, doesn't have that happen very often. Um, the problem that I'm having is the ends want to stick together because of all that loose, that, that frizzy ends that I was pointing out earlier on some of them. They do get tangled, um, so there still is a separating part that, that has to happen because of that. Otherwise, all this looseness right here will get tangled in with another one. Um, anyway, let's see what else. Front bits. I think, did I already show these? Oh, check that out. Here's another one that's <laughs> loose up to the top. I didn't know that. Um, these ones are just starting. That big old BC I think I showed. I'm not gonna go through them all again because that takes like seems like 15 minutes on its own to go through. No matter what I do, <laughs> it still takes way too long. This is the normal bits. It, it just won't dread. And you know what, I kind of like it. I've become accustomed to it. Because um, it's very versatile. <laughs> and I think it adds, I mean, that's how my hair wants to be. It doesn't want to dread up to the front. So, whatever. I'm not going to force it. But, still wearing my hair like this 95% of the time when I'm at home. Have it like this. When I'm doing dishes, I pull it back because these little bits bob in the water and gross. Um, when I'm cooking, I try to get this out of the way because, believe it or not, I still have loose hair coming out occasionally. And um, that's not so fun to have that in. It's not very often I have one hair here. One. So, um... Let's see, when I'm out and about, still wear my hair up in a pony bun, whatever. I just pull it back. It's nothing fancy. Pull it up and then wrap one time and then that's it. And that's how I wear my hair. That's exactly how I wear it when I'm out and about. Um, changes sometimes, but most of the time I just pull the little loose bits off to the side, let them dangle. 
this is how I do it. So you can kind of tell, I guess, by the roots that it's threaded. Yeah. So that's it. Here's the back. Ta-da. Thanks.